The first quantitative measurement we can use is 2D planimetry. This also is a level one recommendation for assessment of mitral stenosis severity. You can do this 2D assessment by obtaining a transgastric view. And then I would perform an X-plane through what appears to be the smallest part of the mitral valve area. And it'll give you the short axis view here. The reason I do this is because the mitral valve will appear like a funnel and you have to get the plane that is the most downstream on the mitral valve, the smallest part of the funnel to get a true mitral valve area. Ensure that you're measuring at the leaflet tips. This must be done at mid diastole when the mitral valve is most open. This is a helpful tool to use in low flow, low gradient mitral stenosis where a mean gradient might not be as reliable. Some of the errors you may see in this method are that it can overestimate the mitral valve area. If you locate the narrowest orifice, that gives you the true mitral valve area. But if you're higher up on the mitral valve or your plane is slanted, it's only gonna give you greater areas of that mitral valve that are incorrect and not the actual mitral valve area. Also in those calcific mitral stenosis patients that have extensive calcification, it can be hard with those calcium deposits to get a true narrowest orifice area and planimeter that area correctly.